Hello and welcome back to the Mega Man 2 playthrough, me the Jolly Monkey. We are currently down to two Robot Masters and the first we'll be taking on today is Flashman! Wow, this guy is a mystery. No, seriously, I, I'm trying to figure out what the name of Flash could possibly mean. Uh, let's check the level. There's flashing blocks. Uh, it doesn't seem like a good reason to name a robot after. Uh, these blocks are special. Uh, okay, uh, they're very slippery. Uh, th Stop moving! Uh, oh god, pull myself back, pull myself back. Uh, oh jeez, I'm slipping and sliding all over the place. This is just getting annoying. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the first gimmick of this stage. Slippy, slidey, ice. And the second, which I think you can see by the layout of this room actually, is... It's a maze. There are several alternate paths to take. The one you can... Access without too much trouble is the one that's filled with enemies and potential danger. The one that requires items to get through is filled with items and is a casual walk in the park or ice box or whatever. However, to get to those paths, it requires this: the wonderful item one, which is essentially floating platforms. No real need for explanation, really. You can activate three of them at a time. And that's all the exposition I can give. Uh, crap. Well, folks, that's the end of the commentary for today. I've been the Jolly Monkey. Let's see, I'm going to get a sandwich. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm joking. <laughs> But, yeah, this stage is pretty easy to explain, because literally you've seen all there is. Pretty much all you'll be able to see me from this point on is just how to take the alternate levels and what you'll avoid. Like those evil, evil mechas. God, they are just some of the most annoying enemies, just because they're... Just because of the way they are. But anyway, we're going to avoid them, so... Yeah, taking this nice, casual, pleasant... On a route, using the crash bombs to blow up the additional pathways and slipping through them in order to avoid the danger like so. Oh! Crap. Oh no! God damn it! What the hell is up with these things? What the hell are they anyway? I mean, seriously, can, can someone point that out? Are they just floating bits of wire? Are they robotic tapeworms? Are they snakes? What the bloody hell are those things? Ow! Okay. Let's just forget all about them and leave that. Actually, I may be able to get that item. The crash bombs are getting a bit low. Uh, nope, they're gone. Maybe I can use it to get across this gap. Nope, that's not helping. Oh, what the heck, one time left. Mm. Well, I guess I avoid. I guess I avoided the tin can enemy, so yeah, maybe that route was the bad one after all. Nope, this was a bad route. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, I really hate these mechs. They'll jump really high, and when they land on you, they can do some serious damage. Ugh. There's, uh, there's got to be some way I can avoid it. Huh. A bit of a design flaw there. Now we just have to deal with its pilot, who... Oh, God, they're annoyed. Yeah, the riot shield thing they hold in front of their face protects them from laser blasts, so literally the only way to kill them is to shoot them in the face whilst they're shooting you. In essence, it's an endurance match, and you'll likely be lo uh, sorry, you're likely to lose a lot of HP while you're doing all of this. Especially if you had to go up against the mecha first. So let's see. Okay, in order to avoid that mecha, I have to go jump, jump, jump that- Oh crap, that- Oh jeez. Get the hell away from me, you! Uh, okay. Ooh, energy tank. I'm gonna need that later on. Yeah, both Quick Man and the stage after Quick Man. I'll be needing all the energy tanks I can get for that. Oh, I love foreshadowing. Anyway. <laughs> As before, use the item number one to get to... Yeah, you know. Hey. This is one dull stage, and I prefer going to Metal Man stage because uh, you can't get that many items, and so therefore there's no point. But 
if you want to do it your own way, uh, Flashman is also a pretty good state to start off with. In fact, you know what? I'd say, that's kind of what I like about the Omega Man series. The fact that, well, you can essentially go in any order and everything will be fine then. Although, having said that, in the later games, the enemies only have one weakness, so it's kind of... There really is essentially one easy way through it all, which kind of puts a damper on things. And I actually wish it's something that would stop. But anyway, another way rambling, because it's time to take on Flash Man. Let's see what the Flash is actually referring to. Okay, yet. Oh, God. Ow! That was a really cheap trick. And that was a really, really quick battle. Hmm. Well, I guess it's true what they say. When in doubt, use the metal blades. Seriously, they're like one of the best weapons to use in this game. <laughs> Get a quit with. The time stopper. What? That was it all this time? Really? Flash is supposed to be time? How does that even work? I guess it stops time with a flash, but... No, but it doesn't work! How the hell did that even work? I mean, I, I know I'm questioning a logic in a game where a robot dies by getting spiked on a metal sea urchin, but still! Uh, 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 oh, sorry, Dr. Light, I hadn't noticed you. Um, oh, we get a quit of item free. Nice, I'll be looking forward to testing that out later. Anyways, enough rambling, because it's now time to move on to possibly the most dangerous robot master of all. Quick man. Okay, yeah, I know he he sounds incredibly stupid, but unlike Bubble Man, he, he makes up for his name in a big way. Not only for a pretty interesting theme, I must say, but a really, really tricky stage to get through. And now it's time to use item... Oh, well, that's hardly useful! Okay, back off a bit. There we go. Yeah. Item 3 is essentially a wall climber. You fire it, it bounces along the ground until it hits a wall, and then it just climbs straight up it. Which is pretty good if you're just trying to get up a high wall. It saves you having to use the platform number 1. <laughs> Which is extremely useful overall, I must say. Anyway. Yeah, we just carried down this level, and HOLY CRAP! Yeah. Those lasers are insta-kill, and frankly... I'm not going to question him like the CRTs. I'm just going to run like hell. Yeah, I don't really need to explain it. It's lasers. They'll kill you and... Darkness? Oh, you think you can... Su oh. Okay. I have a choice. Kill enemies or be surrounded by perpetual darkness. Yeah, I'll kill them. They've annoyed me way too much to live and... <laughs> I'm a ninja! Jodin means elite ninja after all! I can easily shift through darkness! Once I jump! <laughs> I've, uh, once I've jumped, I can easily make it through darkness! Okay. This section is a bit of a doozy, I'll admit, so... Let's get quickly fast stopper and jump down. Haha! <laughs> now I've frozen lasers in! Nice. Why the hell did I do that? Okay. Second time lucky. Trying to run through this twisted maze. Okay, okay. You got to... uh, uh. Okay. Third time lucky. Damn. Alrighty then. Fourth time lucky. Okay, jump, move, move, quickly, quickly. Alrighty, second section. Move, back. Oh! Do I want to continue? Damn right I want to continue, you bastards! Okay. Alrighty, we're back. Now it's time to do this thing. Okay, jump, run, run, run. Hop. Land. Flash. Yeah. You have to use the time stopper to get through this section. And 
<laughs> There's no way, two ways about it. You have to use it to get through this section because otherwise the lasers will just keep coming and there is no margin for error. If you screw up even once in terms of timing, you will die. And honestly, the reason why I didn't use it in the first place is because part of it was pride, but also because it's best to save this until as late as you can possibly can because that way you... You know, lower the risk factor and increase your chances of reaching the end, but... At last! We finished that damn section! I mean, yeah, it took about four lives or so, but we made it! But yeah, that was me, the Journey Monkey, and I'll see you next time!